Good evening and welcome to City News Daily. I am Pearl Lakanya Ofori. Our top story this evening will hear why some officials at the airport police are being questioned over the alleged rape of a 19-year-old house held by her Lebanese boss. Details of that story shortly. In our first top story for this evening, some officers at the airport police are being questioned over what appears to be their misconduct in the handling of the alleged rape of a 19-year-old girl by her Lebanese boss. The 19-year-old was allegedly raped for the fourth time by her Lebanese boss. However, when the case was reported to the airport police, the female officer on duty is reported to have accompanied the victim to the residence of the suspect, supervised the packing of her belongings, and ensured her November salary of 350 cities was paid to her. However, the suspect was left off the hook. The matter is currently being investigated at the East Ligon Police Station about the airport divisional police commander, Isaac Kujo Asante, who spoke to the press, stated that its outfit is investigating some officers who were on duty when the matter was reported. Meanwhile, the former attorney general and lawyer for the victim, Marietta Bu Apia Opon, has stated that she would keenly follow the process to ensure that justice is served. Let's take you to the Ashanti region and bring you this very sad story. And some students of the Kumasi Academy in that region say they are living in fear following recent mysterious deaths of some of their colleagues. Three students died within a spate of one week from a suspected case of meningitis, while others are receiving treatment at the KNUST and Confuanochi Teaching Hospitals. Well, in March of this year, four students died within a spate of two weeks under similar circumstances. The students say they are worried over the recent happenings and they fear the number may increase if immediate help does not come. Meanwhile, the family of one of the students who died at the Confuanochi Teaching Hospital is threatening to sue the school over negligence. The family alleges that weeks leading up to the school's 60th anniversary celebration held over the weekend, authorities paid very little attention to students who fell sick. Uh, City News Daily's checks at the school have revealed that medical personnel have been dispatched there in a bid to allay fears of students over the issue. Now let's bring you the story on corruption and the Akufuado administration has reiterated its resolve to prosecute public officers who engage in corruption. The government admits people are increasingly growing impatient with a seeming lack of prosecution of public officers caught engaging in corrupt acts. Speaking at the launch of the National Anti-Corruption and Transparency Week in Accra today, the senior minister Yao Osafo Mafo said the government is thoroughly investigating alleged cases of corruption to inform the prosecution. He says the laws must be used to prosecute corrupt officials and not used to punish anybody because they are political opponents. The final funeral rites of the late Asante Hima Nana Ifia Sewa Kubi Ampim II they have been set for December 1 to December 11 this year by the Menchia Palace. Today's activities saw the Asante Hene Utumfo Osei Tutu II taking a short journey from the Pampasu Stool House to the Menchia Palace as part of the final funeral rite of his late mother. President Ikufuado, the Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Debaumia, former President of Ghana John Ajikumfuwa, joined the Asante Hene to sympathize with him. Meanwhile, some students within the Kumasi metropolis have expressed the other displeasure over the ban on school activities as a result of the final funeral rites. And on that note, we end City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pale Akanya Ofori. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us 1024-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.